the problem we're having is uh, the right engine starts a lot faster than the left. I don't get the secondary pause that we do with the cool start mod for some reason on the right engine. We've adjusted the acceleration dome down three clicks to hope to achieve this. Also, we're going to look at start temperatures um, before we start. And this is going to attempt to do two battery starts back to back. So when we start the left engine, we will be on our second battery start. But uh, try that. And we also have a little bit of a temp split at different power settings. And we're going to run up to at least oh, around 800 pounds with the engines matched and analyze that and see if we can see where we're seeing our problem. The N1s and fuel flows have been matched all along, so we feel like we have an indication error, if anything, if we do have a problem. So here we go, battery start on the right engine. much, but I do think we inherited a, a big change in that adjustment. It looked pretty decent. Starter off. I'm going to turn the generator on for a minute. Top our battery back off.
Colorado. Turn the air conditioner on. We had the right engine idled up to compensate for the AC. But with the AC on, it's got a full charge of Freon, blows good and cold, and pulls the N1 down about 2%. Blade angles look good. You can see we inherited a little temperature with the AC. Another way to check Freon will charge. We'll turn the AC off now. Watch her N1 cool down. There she comes down is N1 to come back up, but ITC can cool back down. That completes a power run. We've got uh, bleed airs were capped off for this run just to know that we had all our bleed air available to our engine power. So I think the engines look really good.